Good evening, Japan. Tua Cruz here with another bike commuting vlog here in Japan. For anyone new to the channel, I live and work here in Japan and make videos about cycling and life here in Japan. If you like those things, be sure to subscribe. I have the day off of work today and my wife is actually working, so I'm going to go pick her up. And normally, it's the winter season right now, so it's been too dark. So it's been a little bit too dark to film any commute videos, but thankfully with the day off today, I can film a nice sunny commute video. We've got beautiful weather here in the Japanese winter, nice clear skies, one of the best things about living here in Japan. Anyway, the topic I want to talk about in today's video is some of the best things that I've learned from daily bike commuting for a full year, mid distance, mid to long distance. So those of you who are fans of the channel know I ride my bike to work every single day and it's been a little bit over a year now since I've started my long distance trek every single day. I've been a daily bike commuter for years, but my commute in the past was traditionally really short, only a couple miles, only a couple kilometers, but now I commute 40 kilometers each day round trip, which is about 27 miles. It's not super long, but it is about a two hour round trip ride every single day. And I've learned a lot from my experience and I've gone through the full year cycle now. So I wanted to give some of my thoughts on some of the things I've learned from it, some advice I have for any other people who are doing some bike commuting, pass on some of the knowledge I've learned. So to start off with today's theme, the first thing I wanna talk about that I think has helped me the most with my daily bike commuting is consistency. And I mean this in a lot of different ways. So consistency in the night before you go to bed, consistency in the morning with your morning routine. So setting a set routine that you follow every day that you're gonna bike commute just helps so much. I'll elaborate more on this in just a second, but it's a combination of that and preparation. And preparation and consistency are two things that I've been really weak at for the last year, but they're things that I've grown to appreciate and that I'm trying my hardest to improve on. For me though, I found that preparation the evening before is much easier to do and also gives you much less headache than doing it the morning before you ride. If you try and prepare everything, you wake up, get up in the morning and try and find everything that you need, there's always gonna be something, some little thing that goes wrong, something that you can't find no matter how hard you search and you swear you placed it in one place but you can't seem to find it. That stuff always seems to happen if you wait until the last minute and do your stuff in the morning. So I always do all of my prep work the night before I go to bed. That gives me peace of mind so I don't have to worry about my ride the next morning. Many of you guys know that I commute with a backpack. So I get my backpack out in front of the table, grab everything that I need, put it either in the bag or on top of the table so it's ready to go in my bag when I wake up in the morning. So I put everything in there, I put my tools in there, my change of clothes if I need it, my lunchbox, I'll have it ready by the fridge or some of the things that don't need to be refrigerated on the table, all of it ready to go. So when I wake up in the morning, I just get dressed, put the rest of my stuff in my bag, grab it and I'm out the door. The other thing that you should be doing, and I'm not the greatest at this, and that is your bike maintenance, your bike checks. You should always double check your bike to make sure that there aren't any problems. Check the major things like tire pressure, nothing's loose or anything like that, nothing's broken, check your spokes. Ideally, you should do this every day after every ride and especially just wipe off your chain, wipe off some of the sensitive areas. I, again, am not the greatest at this and this is something that I've really grown to appreciate its true value as I've had some mechanical issues recently and mechanical issues are the last thing that you wanna have on your daily commute. I fortunately have had all of my mechanical issues on my way coming home from work, so nothing has delayed me from getting to work, but I'm sure one of these days that I am gonna have an issue on my way to work one day and I am gonna be late to work, so it's best to do as much as possible to prevent that from happening in the first place. And the two key things I found that really help with this is preparation and consistency. The other part where I found that consistency really helps for example, setting a set bedtime, waking up the same time every day. Not only is this really good, supposedly, for your health, but it also makes everything a lot easier, especially if you're struggling, for example, to find the motivation to ride, to find the motivation to ride every day, to get up every day in the cold, in the rain, whatever it might be. 
I found that by setting a consistent schedule. So this is the time that you get up. This is the time that you do this. This is the time that you go. Just setting that routine, setting that consistency really helps in making everything easier. You have less stuff that you need to worry about, less stuff that you need to think about, and you just do it. Some people have asked me for advice on how I stay motivated to ride my bike every single day. And I've actually found it's easier to ride every day than to just ride a couple days a week. For example, if you're riding to work twice a week or three times a week, once a week, your routine is now changing between the days that you're riding to work and the days that you're driving to work. And I think that small little routine change, that lack of consistency, just adds a lot more stress and also makes the barrier a bit easier to give up and just drive to work. So for example, if it's raining or you're just tired, you maybe drank a little bit too much the night before, went to bed a little bit late, and you're like, oh man, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drive to work today. You give yourself that option and again, just making a set routine, setting that consistency, setting those rules for yourself and just doing it every day. The whole process gets easier. When I first started my long distance commute, there were some days where it's like pouring rain and I wake up and I'm like, man, I do not want to ride my bike an hour in the rain today, but I don't know, the more you do it, the more mentally strong you get and it doesn't become as much of a big deal anymore. Honestly, I'd much rather be on my bike in the rain, in the cold rain for an hour than be stuck sitting in a car for an hour every single day. And that's just me. Maybe I'm weird. I, I'm definitely weird, I know, but... Going along on the preparation point, there are a couple different things that I found in particular that you want to have that really make a world of a difference. Speaking of the rainy days, I've mentioned this numerous times on my channel and I can't say this enough and that is that do yourself a favor and get yourself a decent fender set. You will not regret it. It is by far the number one investment you can make as a bike commuter. It protects your bike, protects you, keeps you comfy, and keeps your bike from getting overly dirty. I used to look down on them for so long, but now I am a true fan. I'll also show you guys some of the other regular equipment that I carry with me at all times. So here we go, this is my bike today. This is my Schwinn Madison single speed. I've got my rear fender on here. I don't have a front fender set yet, but that is another upgrade I am considering getting in the near future. The other valuable lesson I've learned on my bikes is it doesn't really matter if you have a really expensive bike, you have a super bike, you have the latest tech or anything like that. I've learned to just really value functionality and reliability, durability, much more than anything else. The great thing I love about this bike is that there's very few parts on it that can break. If anything goes wrong on it, it's just gonna be the chain. The chain is easy to replace, easy to fix, anyone can do it. And the biggest thing I really have to worry about on this bike is just getting a flat tire. I've got these awesome tires on here, the Schwalbe Marathons. I've never had a flat on them. I've used them for like five years now. They're solid commuting tires, really love them. And the other thing I always carry with me now is a toolbox. So I have a tool bag sometimes that I carry some of my other tools in, but the thing I really like about this is, is it's just really portable. I can switch it from one bike to the other. I'm actually never riding with any water right now, but it is cold, so I don't drink too much right now. That'll be changing in the summer, I'm sure. And I can just store a bunch of useful things in here. I always, always, always carry some patch kits in here just in case I get a flat. I don't want to be underprepared. And these are super light. They don't take up any space. I've got my little lock here. This is all the lock you need here in Japan. And your bike will be relatively safe no matter where you are. You might be unlucky and live somewhere else where you do need a heavy duty lock and you're just going to have to carry that on your back or get some extra mount that goes on your bike, unfortunately. The other great thing about this particular toolbox, this is from uh, Zafal, which is a French maker. It's got two different layers here. So in here I can put my bigger, bulkier items. I've got some tubes in there. I've also got some black electric tape because this tape is pretty magical and can solve a couple different issues you might run across. I've also got some multi-tools and tire levers and other useful tools in here that you might need. Again, it always helps to be more prepared than underprepared. And it is the winter commute season right now. I'm loving the sunset right now because I normally don't get to commute during this time right now. It's dark, it's pitch dark when I leave every day. So I've got my super strong light on here. This is a new light that I've been testing out lately, the Cat Eye Volt 1700. It's pretty solid. And I've also got a nice little rear light in here. Anyway, 
The other things that I've been really trying to improve on lately is getting a better sleep schedule and going to bed consistently at the same time. One thing I did to improve that is I made another big purchase. My wife was not happy about this. So this is a sleep tracking ring. I bought this to keep track of when I'm going to sleep, how long I'm going to sleep, and what is the quality of my sleep. It was pretty expensive. I think about $250. So really expensive purchase, but I am trying to make the improvements to get a better healthy lifestyle and just make the whole bike commuting thing go a little bit smoother and have a healthier body. If you guys have any experience with that stuff, any suggestions, any tips, I've always had struggle with sleeping. Um, I always just think a little bit too much before going to bed and I, I never had a set sleep time. I just always kind of went to bed whenever I felt like it. Sometimes maybe I had a big project that I was working on late into the night and I'm like, I can't go to sleep until I finish this. So I am trying to make improvements with those things. Again, the two main key things I've learned from this year is consistency, creating good routines, and having good preparation. So that goes for your body, that goes for your bike, that goes for your equipment. Those are some of my big goals for this year, improving all of these things, creating healthier routines, creating healthier patterns, getting into better habits. And I hope this video helps motivate you guys. Talking about this stuff is hopefully going to help motivate me to do a little bit better myself. We're about to find uh, Tun Chan, my wife, so let's see if she has any advice for you guys as well. Tun Chan's been hard at work all day while I've been luckily with my day off here in the national holiday. Just found Tun Chan. Otsukari sama desu. Hi everyone. Otsukari sama desu. <laughs> so we're going to ask Tun Chan for her advice on daily bike commuting. Tun Chan, you've been doing this for a long time. Yes, you've been doing this for a long time. Do you have any advice or advice? What is the most difficult place to go to the street? Strength. 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 いつも元気に。ああ。いつも元気。ま、自分のあの、健康。うん。彼ら一番いい。うん。それね。あとま、毎日楽しみにしてる。そうですね。楽しみ。すごく言われた。あ、トンちゃんかっこいいとか。お。